A prep profile this week, a three-sport standout at Fort Recovery who helped the Indians to their first ever state football championship in 2005. Fort Recovery FCA President Kayla Martin excited to head to the University of Toledo to play football this coming summer and all because of one group of people with the Rockets. Coaches. Coaches were incredible. Coach Candle, head coach, and Coach Wright, the quarterback coach, he's actually coming down tomorrow night for the basketball game too, so he's gonna be it's gonna be good to have him down here and just, just hang out and have him watch me play and just watch the just to see the kind of competitor that I am and how I really really love to win and he he's gonna enjoy it. I mean I'm gonna enjoy working with him and I mean you see what they're doing with their quarterback right now, Logan, and he's he's breaking all kinds of national records, so it's just gonna be a lot of fun. He's been a special player, you know. Uh, he really emerged uh, as a leader, especially this past year. Um, one of the things, you know, he had some difficulty this year when, when he got uh, appendicitis and, you know, had those two weeks off. Uh, but he's a guy who was always willing to do whatever we needed him to to help the team, including, you know, partway through the year we, we made a switch with him to play more defense because uh, we thought that he could help uh, covering people and, and with just some matchups with his height, you know, and he was really excited to do that. So for him, uh, helping his team was a lot more than throwing touchdown passes and being a quarterback. It was being a complete football player and a complete teammate and, and doing what he could to help us win. Coach Niekamp saw that firsthand weeks four and five of the regular season when Martin was sidelined after having an emergency appendectomy. He's still a student of the game, so he was, he was watching a lot of film and um, helping Jason Reisner uh, get used to that quarterback spot for those couple of weeks. It was good to just have better preparation to help help the other guys, help Jason see what I saw. And now he's been getting into basketball shape with the Max Slate tipping off tonight in Delphus. Basketball, it's just fun. It's fun to come out here and run around. It's a whole different shape. Like I told everybody, it's just going from football shape and to basketball. It's a lot different. It's a lot more stopping and starting and running. And it's just, it's, it's, I think we finally got our legs back under us. Me, guys like me and Jason and Cade, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to play fast and just try to score a lot of points. He brings a lot of leadership to the basketball floor. You know, he's, he's a three-year three -year varsity player. Um, and he really brings, you know, that, that leadership, the unselfishness, the, the, the work ethic that, that you love seeing in kids as they, as they grow older and as they mature. And, and you know, that's definitely what he brings. And, and he brings in a, a level of excitement as well. And, and, and that's, always, that's always fun to have in practice. On and off the court, the senior FCA leader is practicing his faith. Just to trust, just to have, just try to, before I leave for college, just to make as many, I mean, I've, make my friendships a lot better and make my, friend, my relationships with other people a lot stronger. And just, just I mean, I've been, we started up a thing with our priest that we go to. Uh, we meet with him every Tuesday morning before school, and we just kind of eat and hang out and talk about God. And it's just it's a lot of fun because he's really energetic, and it's just great to get involved with him too. Awesome story there, and a great win tonight for the Indians on the road at Delphus. Next, the Wild Wild Western Buckeye League slate tips off the boys. Highlights from four league contests plus rivalry night in Fort Jennings. We run the fast break.